Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's What's in My Mailbox, I got two things. Um, I got a partial from Roxy Creations and I also got an Amazon order. And so my Amazon order was um, two things. So I got paper. Um, this is, um, what's this called? Um, I don't know, but it's really, really, really cool. Oh, masking paper, that's what it is. Um, so I recently got an order and it was wrapped in this stuff and it is just amazing. So I got um, a couple rolls of that. I got this like cool green color and a nice uh, creamy brown color. And so I figured if nothing else, I could wrap orders in it or I could put some pages in journals because it's a really cool added texture paper and I love adding papers that are different textures. Now this package came all the way from Italy from Miss Roxy Creations. And I literally just took it from the mail lady. So I really wanted to dig into this. So I had to turn my camera on. Okay, so it's really cool. Really, really cool. So I got a couple, uh -oh, over. I got a couple of paper packs from her and I also got a book from her. Now this book is really, really cool. It's listed as Antique French Book Mid-1800. Um, and then it's got some stuff in French that I can't read. Um, I was just list, uh, reading the listing off of her, off of my, ooh, my order from Etsy. Now this thing is cool. So there's the spine which that in and of itself is just amazing. Could you imagine making a journal with this? Like That's just cool. And then here's the books and these pages, look at these pages, aren't they just luscious? And to top it all off, it's in another language. So it's really cool. Um, so if you guys don't already know this, I love, love, love foreign things. Um, uh, probably my favorite to look at, not knowing anything of what it says because I have no idea how to speak any of the languages, but is Slovak, but French is definitely a very close second because it's just pretty to look at. I have no idea what it says, but it's just pretty. And these pages are just, oh, I don't even know how to explain this. Very, very, very pretty. And it's in really amazing shape for being from the 1800s. Like, that's insane to me. There is not an actual copyright on this book. This was her research that um, dated it, but also if you just look at it, you can tell that it's really, really old. So there is the book that I got to add to my collection of antique books because we all know I need more of those, right? Oh, all right. I'm just going to set that back over there. And then this other one was a super antique book page bundle. Okay, this bundle was dated from 1776 to 1913. Nothing in these bundles are older, or excuse me, newer than 1913. She does, if I'm not mistaken, she has a video on these guys. Um, I just clicked on the description to see if I could uh, get the video but I will look for it and I will post that in um, her, or in my um, description box. I'm just gonna check real quick to see if she still has any of these available um, because they're just super, super cool. Um, oh, I don't think she does. Oh, that stinks. But she has really cool items like that come on from time to time and it's just amazing. All right, so she wrapped everything up and I actually got, oh, uh, what did I get? I think I got three of these. 
Yes, I got three of these. And the reason that I got three of them was mostly because of shipping. Um, because it is coming from Italy. And she said that if you get one, it's about $15 shipping. If you get two, it's about $20 shipping. And if you get three, it's about $20 shipping. So I was like, well, what the hey, might as well get three of them, right? Oh my goodness, I don't know what this paper is, but this feels cool. Oh man, I can't wait to play with these. Okay, so um, like I said, she does have a video on this uh, and I will see if I can find that video and link that specific video in the description box. Not because they're still available, but just so you can get an idea of the things that she, um, she puts on her shops. Um, she gets all kinds of stuff and it's just absolutely amazing the stuff that she finds um, and the the quality of these papers is really cool it's like a it almost feels like a homemade paper I think and I think she referenced that too actually if I'm not mistaken so there's those and these again they're all in foreign language so we have one two three four five six seven eight and nine of those okay and then this guy here um there is it looks like three pages um no oh okay that's interesting You know, I think I remember seeing her saying this now, um, that it like folds up like that. That's very cool. <laughs> that's just, that's really neat. Um, so there's one, two, three of those. That's just really neat. That is very, very, very neat. Okay, and then, now remember guys, all of these are like vintage, beyond vintage. Like they're vintagey vintage. It, I don't even know how to accurately describe these papers because they're just so old. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13, um, um, looks like there's 15, but these guys have a bunch of papers in them. So I think what she did was she just left the signatures together, which is fine by me. Um, so there's actually a whole bunch in here. Like this one here has got one, two, three, four pages in it. So that would be like, what, 14, 18? And then this one has got another four pages in it. So that's 22. Like, oh, excuse me. This one has three pages in it. So that's 21. That's, that's crazy. But these pages are just so pretty. And again, no idea what they say. Oh, look at that one. I like that picture. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that's really pretty. Huh. <laughs> 
That's funny. It looks like uh, somebody had come in and colored on the picture, but I think it's cute. Oh, they did this one too. So as you can see, there's quite a few of these. And then the, oh wow, this one also feels like uh, handmade paper. This one's nice and colored. Oh man, that is just so cool. There's a bunch of these too. And what she did instead of giving me like three separate packs is she just piled it all in one. Um, but like I said, I will look for that video, and if you look at the video and you see like how many is supposed to be in one pack, you see that this is obviously three packets. And this paper is just so pretty. Like there's a date right there that says 1811. There's another one that says 1811. And it's cool because you can like, you can feel the imprint of the press on this other side. Like you can feel the, the letters from where it printed. Like, it's, I want to say that it's almost like a reading braille, braille, if you like you run your hand over the bumps. That's what it feels like, is that bumps. Um, obviously, it's not braille, but it's just really, really cool. Okay, let's stack these up a little neater. She has them all nice and prettily, prettily, that's not a word, stacked. And then here I am doing it all backwards. down okay um i'm not sure which this one is but again the paper just feels really cool you can see the edges of the paper are very rough and ragged um there's a few of these inserts as well and you can tell how all these books are too because like some of the dust from like the, the um, from the material that was keeping them together is like kind of in the creases of the papers, which is, to me, I like it because it kind of just shows the authenticity of the, the books. Um, and these are just so, so cool. There's that, and there was um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. So in one pack, you would have gotten three of those. Um, these are cool. It's like a, a much lighter paper. It's not quite as light as your traditional dictionary page but it's, it is one of those lighter materials. This one is from 1869. Um, there's a date right there. There's another one right there. Um, I don't know what, um, I think Maggio is a month, maybe March, I don't know. Um, and I'm guessing on the pronunciation um, because I, like I said, I cannot read French, but yeah, I want to say it's Maggio, but I don't know. So there's quite a few of these and then this one is some sort of 
Oh, I think this one's continuation. Um, this looks like some sort of mathematical chart of something, like maybe a, um, uh, a ledger of some sort, maybe. Um, annua, I think maybe that's like yearly. It's really cool though to try to figure out what these things say. Um, so like I said, I had a bunch of those. Um, just kind of going to skip through some of these. They're all basically the same concept. Really cool paper. Same age. Um, from 1869. And these papers are in really, really good shape. And as you can see, you got quite a bit of those. So, I mean, you could have easily gotten like seven in a pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, nineteen, um, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Yeah, you got ten of these in the pack. All right, and then the next set is, let's see if we can find a date on this guy. These are, again, with the aging, it's just, it's really, really cool to see it. Um, 1808, there it is right there. Um, yeah, like you guys can see that teeny tiny writing. I don't think I can zoom in enough for you to see that. Um, so there's quite a few of these from 1808, as you can see, and it looks like they're getting older as the pile goes down, but it could just be because of the, the shape of the pages, which is how I think she just stacked them all up, was based on the shape of the pages, and this one is um, 1567 but I don't think that's right because her oldest page her oldest papers are from 17 and some change I forget what they were um, where'd you go uh, 1776 Yeah, I don't see any dates on these guys. But there's quite a bit of these as well. But um, I really, really like the paper. Like, I, um, it kind of feels like watercolor paper. You know that thickness that watercolor paper has? That's kind of what it feels like. And there's quite a bit of those. Um, let's see. Am I going to turn this again before it's all done with? Uh, this way. All right. So, this one, 1798. Um, there is a good bit of these as well. And I'm just, I don't know if the dates that I'm calling off happen to be the publication of the book. They're just dates that I see on the page. Um, like this one says 1806. The first one I said was, what was it? There's a 1799. Um, where's that other one at? I just saw it. 
Maybe that was it. Hmm. Um, so you get a few of these. Not like these, they're kind of like, they're smoother, but they're not glossy. It's just a smoother paper. And I gotta say, they've held up quite nicely. It's kind of like a, I wanna say it feels like a magazine type paper, but not nearly as glossy. Like it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but not, I wouldn't say that it's glossy. Um, and then this one is, I don't know. I like the, the bullet points on this, it's cool. Uh, 1639 is right there. Again, I don't think that's the publication of this book. The oldest one she has is from 1776. Well, in this bundle, the oldest one she has in this bundle. There's those bullet points again. This is an interesting feel paper too. Oh, look at that. There's some math in there. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Oh, you get bunches of those too. And then as you guys can see the the book the the book dirties, whatever they're called. Like the crinklies of the book. All right, so here's a few looks from a magazine of some sort, possibly, I'm not sure. Um, but the images in here are really, really cool. Um, like that one, that one, and my husband's stealing my car. Bye, I love you. He's going to get some more potting soil and such for our garden. Look at that. That's really neat. Oh, wow. So you got two of those. No, this are the same. Okay. Oh, lectures. Um, I've, mm -mm, can't. Mm -mm. I have no idea. Um, lect lectures is the only one that I can say. Toe? Is that toe? Because I want to say that, uh, no, it's A-E-U is O, I think. Um, anyway, this, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a, um, a magazine of some sort. Some uh, adverts. I don't see any dates on these guys. Oh, 1906. <laughs> there's the uh, there's the date. Ask and you shall receive. Wow, that's just really pretty. Oh, cartoons. That's so cool. 1900 cartoons. That's pretty. Some more adverts. Okay, that's kind of creepy looking. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like uh, the It Clown meets Raggedy Ann is what that looks like to me. <laughs> oh man, that's neat. I like that. Oh, pretty. Oh, that's cool. Some more adverts. Oh, look at that one. How cool is that? <laughs> Some more cartoons. Oh man, I wish I knew what these things said because these cartoons look funny. <laughs> Oh, man. 
That says Frisco Kid. Rest of it, no idea. Oh, wow. So you get, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you got three of these in a pack. And then you got one of each of these. These are really, really old ledgers uh, from 1909. So that's really cool. Um, what's really cool is it's from 1909. So I can scan this and then reprint it. So that's cool. I might share these guys with you. Um, that's, that's pretty neat. So that's essentially four pages right there. So we got that one, that one, that one, and zit one. Um, so you got one of these in each pack. And this one's from 1910. I can scan this one as well. Ugh. And this one is from 1909. And I can scan this one as well. Ah, very, very cool. Um, flip you that way, flip you that way. Okay. So, this pack here is what she has from 1776. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you got four pages in one pack. Oh my gosh, this paper is like parchment paper. Like legitimate parchment paper, not we put par parchment paper down so we can iron on. No, 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 no. Like as in the scrolls of parchment that they would write on and seal with wax. Um, that's what this feels like. That's what it sounds like. And it's like, it's got a thinning aspect. Like it's thinner down here on the bottom than like up here on the top. Oh my gosh, these are just super cool. Okay, so that, my dear lovely ladies and gentlemen, is the mail that I got in my mailbox today. Um, so I hope you guys join me for another video. I will probably do another uh, What's in My Mailbox Monday. Uh, today is Friday. Uh, I will probably have this up towards the end of the day, um, depending on how long the video is. How long is the video? Oh, it's 28 minutes. Not too bad. Um, so I, I should have this up towards, um, let's see, is it 2 o'clock now? Hopefully it'll be up by 5, if I'm lucky, if my computer acts right. And then I will just, I'll keep my mail from the weekend, well, from tomorrow. And I will do that, um, depending on what I've got going on this weekend, I will most likely do that on Monday. So, that is everything. My Italian vintage stuff came in the mail. That's awesome. And that was like super, super quick. Like, amazingly quick. Today is Friday, March 29th. I purchased this pack on March 18th. Like, that was 11 days ago, and she got that to me super quick. Like, there's people that I've ordered from in the States that don't get get shipped out that quick. Like, so if you guys want really, really good shipping and really amazing things, please, please, please go check out Roxy Creations. Um, she has really cool ideas on her YouTube channel and then she turns around and she sells those ideas and she sells what she finds. So, um, yes. Oh, and there's a card. Thank you so much, Rachel. Ah, 
that's her name. <laughs> um, so anyway, thank you so much. And I will see you guys again. Until next time. Bye guys.